clicked on an annotation in the last video, welcome back, otherwise if you didn't, hello and welcome, I'm Ace Colpster. This video is basically an additional video for my OpenGL support error video. If you haven't seen that video, I'll put a link either down in the description below or somewhere on the screen for you to go check out if you wish. Now I just want to quickly go over a few things. One is what exactly are family chipsets, two why are external graphics cards better than onboard video, and three why are desktops better than laptops. So the first thing I want to start off with is family chipsets, which is the main reason why I'm making this video in the first place. A lot of people have been commenting on my OpenGL support error video saying things like, what is family chipsets, I have family chipsets in my computer, etc. Well, family chipsets are commonly used in a lot, if not all, computers that you buy from a store. They are most commonly used, yet cheap chipsets manufacturers place in store-bought computers, mainly just to get the job done, the daily basic tasks. Now, if you were to build your own computer, you wouldn't have to worry about that because motherboards that you buy for your own build, you will have better quality chipsets. Therefore, that makes family chipsets not great for gaming or other things. You might get by playing a few games at a decent performance with family chipsets, but you're not going to get very far in the long run. With that being said, I'm going to move on to the last two things, which are why is external graphics card better than onboard video? and why are desktops better than laptops. So on to external graphics cards versus onboard video. My recommendation and opinion is use external graphics card and not onboard video. Onboard video is horrible for running games, programs, and or applications. Why you ask? Because all those things are not only going to rely on your onboard video, but it's also going to take some, if not all, your computer's overall performance. And I have some pictures here I took of my spare computer and external graphics card. So, this is the onboard chipset here with the heat sink over it, and this is the onboard display output here. Now, let's say I'm not exactly sure what the specifications of the chipset itself here is, but let's say this is 256 megabytes. So, we have one gig here, so it's going to take 256 megabytes out of your 1 gig of RAM. Okay. And then it's going to take some of the CPU's performance as well. So let's say it uses half of your CPU's performance and a good portion of your RAM. That stuff you could solve just by using an external graphics card. But therefore since you're using a onboard video, it's going to be using your CPU and your RAM, which you could be using for other things like games, applications, and programs. So that's why onboard is no good, and it's only good for basic things like playing YouTube videos, playing music, browsing the internet, etc. Basically, anything that doesn't require a lot of performance. So now we're going to be going on to the last thing. Now for external graphics cards, which is right here like I showed you before. Remember this one is an older graphics card. There are different varieties of graphics cards made by different manufacturers out on the market. The simplest way I can explain this, especially if you're not tech savvy, think of an external graphics card as a separate motherboard for your computer. It has its own processor and memory. The processor is right here underneath this heatsink. And here's the memory. It's able to use for itself and itself only. It does not rely on and use your computer's memory and processor like an onboard video does. Since that's cleared up and out of the way, we can move on to the last, but certainly not least, why are desktops better than laptops? This last one I threw in here for the heck of it. What I'm going to say and explain to you is not only the obvious truth, but also my personal opinions as well. And I'm sure that all the gamers and computer tech savvies out there will agree with me. Desktops are better than laptops because you're able to customize them however you want and you can always add and upgrade your components. Unlike laptops, you're not able to do that. The only way to run, let's say, heavy gaming, you would need to buy a gaming laptop, a laptop specifically designed to game. However, that's not always a great idea, because what if you want to finally upgrade a component or replace a component? That's not going to be simple, because you can't add or upgrade laptop parts like you can with desktop computers. Plus, laptops will give more problems than desktop computers, such as getting clogged up with dust and overheating quicker. So, if you're more of a mobile person, a person that's always on the go, then the gaming laptop is for you. Otherwise, I highly recommend a gaming desktop or desktop computer. I mean, think about it. 
it makes sense, right? Anyways, that's all for this video. I hope you not only enjoyed this, but also found it helpful and informative. Please don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later. Take care. Bye.